sounding firefighter will move up the roof towards the roof ladder, sounding for safety. The firefighters will continue to move up the ladder until the point of where the heat hole will be placed. Sounding firefighter will then locate structural members and mark them on the roof for easy visibility. At this point, the sounding firefighter will pass the tool to his left and the backup firefighter will pass the saw with the brake on to the right. The sounding firefighter becomes the sawyer, will take the brake off and will make a far reach for the head cut or the first cut, making sure to roll rafters. The head cut will end at the first rafter. The firefighter will then reach as far as comfortable to the head cut and make his first downward cut. The sawyer will take this cut down as far as comfortable. The sawyer will then take a few steps down the ladder to make the bottom cut while not cutting across the body. While making the bottom cut, the sawyer will make sure to roll the rafter and end at the adjacent rafter. The fourth and final cut will be the final downward cut to complete the hole. The chain brake is set on the saw, passed to the right, while the tool is passed to the left. The sawyer becomes the sounding firefighter, will now make the hole, turning the tool, and punching through any false or hanging ceilings. The firefighters will then turn around and exit the roof.